hey guys welcome to my channel today will be a cook with me video with my mom this is her right here so let's get started all right guys so today's video is gonna be a little bit different it's gonna be a cook with me I think vlog style um, a lot of you asked me to do a cook with me with my mom you thought that would be fun so I asked her and she was like no because she doesn't like to be on camera but um, last weekend on my little live session with a bunch of girls, you guys asked me to beg my mom and I did and she agreed so we're going to be cooking together and we're going to be making one of my favorite dishes that she made growing up. I don't know if it's like super just Colombian or she just made it but I think it's super good and it's super different so I wanted to do it for you guys. So yeah, I'm going to show you a list of all the ingredients we use and then we're just going to go ahead and get started. Not sure how... We're gonna film everything, but I hope it turns out good and I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Penelope will probably go for a nap now, right? All right guys, I'll see you later. Okay, Penelope's gonna be our little helper. <laughs> She's so excited about it. <laughs> Anyways, right here is what we'll be using. I'm just showing you, but I'm also adding a list as usual. This dish is called carnes mechada and papas and chupe, which is shredded beef and the potatoes. I don't know it's just their own little name and by no means is this a healthy dinner it's a lot of carbs but it's so so good and it's one of my favorites so I hope you guys enjoy it okay the first thing I'm doing is just opening the steak and cutting it into three pieces so it cooks a little bit faster and also so it fits in the pressure cooker and I don't know if you guys have ever seen a pressure cooker but it just cooks food super quick so we just added some water mom never uses measurements but she always gets it right so I'm just filming her this is what she's using the complete seasoning from Badia she always uses that and she does very light seasoning because that's just the way she cooks but it's always always good that's all she's putting in and now, I don't know if you guys have ever seen a pressure cooker, but pretty much cooks everything super quick. So we're just gonna close it if we could get it right in here. All right, so first we're gonna put it on high and then once it starts like kind of like boiling a little bit, we'll put it on medium. And we're just gonna wait now. Once we have the meat going, I'm just going to go ahead and peel and cut these potatoes. They're just regular white potatoes and I peel them and cut them into big wedges like this. Then we're just gonna put them to boil in some water like if you're making mashed potatoes and my mom is adding some salt and the same seasoning. While the potatoes are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and do our rice. And this is just regular jasmine rice with a little bit of noodles. We're using angel hair pasta nest and we're just breaking them up into little pieces and all there is in the pot is some olive oil all you're gonna do is fry them up until they're a little brown you just gotta keep moving them so they don't burn and then you're just gonna do your rice however you do it so just gonna add the water and add the rice and make sure the water is salty enough and that's about it but i love this rice it's so good <laughs> Okay, while the rice cooks, we are gonna move on to the potatoes again. And here we're just cutting some green onions, which is going to be for the sauce for the potatoes. I'm just helping my mom, and I know it's crazy that we cut here in our hands, but that's just the way we do it. <laughs> but the rice is all dried up, so all I'm doing here is mixing it up a little bit. I go ahead and cover it and lower the heat, and then the potatoes are all done. So I'm just grabbing those and draining them and then we are going to move on to the sauce. Okay, now for the sauce, we're gonna be using the green onions we just cut up, about a tablespoon and a half of butter. My mom is adding some salt and also some of that seasoning that she uses for everything. And um, you're just gonna cook these onions up until the butter is melted and they are a little bit softer. But if you wanna add any other seasonings, you can feel free to do that. My mom can have garlic, but I feel like this always tastes really, really good with garlic. So feel free to add whatever you want. But once these are a little bit uh, cooked, we're just gonna add the milk and then the coloring, this yellow coloring, which I don't know if you could find it anywhere, is also badia, but I'm sure in the Spanish aisle you might. And then we're just gonna cook this a little longer and then that's it. That will be all done. Now we turned it really low and we put the potatoes back in the pot that they cooked in and we're just going to add the sauce to them. Mm. 
This is so good, guys. I'm telling you, it's delicious. And then she's going to add a little bit more milk so they cook up a little longer in really low temp. They got a little softer than we wanted to because we kept talking and forgot they were cooking. You want them a little bit harder so they don't fall apart, but you know what? Either way, they're good. Le dices que les pongan sal y condimentos al gusto, ¿no? Sí. Ahora se dejan cocinar un poquito en bajo para que coja ya. They're just gonna cook for a little bit just so they get all the flavors and then they'll be done. Okay, moving back to the meat, which is all done, I'm just gonna get it out of this pot. These pots need to be cooled before you open them, if not, they'll just explode, and I'm so, so scared of them, so I always run cold water, just to make sure they're nice and cool. But all I'm doing is taking out the meat out of there, putting it in this bowl and setting it aside, and then getting some of that broth in this cup and saving it for later, and then I'm just gonna get rid of the rest. Now I'm going to be cutting some of this onion and pepper for the meat and you guys know I love my little chopper. I have it linked in the description box if you guys want to get one. I think it was like 10 bucks. I'm pretty sure it was like 10 bucks. But seriously, I use it every day. It's just, it's perfect. <laughs> but once you're done with that, um, just set it aside and then you're going to go back to your meat which you could put in the fridge because it's pretty hot. You could put it in the fridge so it cools down a little bit. But all I'm doing here is shredding it with my fingers. You guys could use a fork and a knife, but I just feel like for meat, it's way easier to do it with your fingers. So if you have clean hands, feel free to do that. And we're gonna put that little mixture I just made in here. That's what gives the meat all the flavor, guys. So yeah, pretty much all you're doing is adding some olive oil and then putting the onions and peppers in there. Again, seasoning this really good because this will give the meat all the flavor. So just use the same seasoning and some salt and then just fry it up a little bit. And then you're just going to start adding your meat to that. Once your meat is all shredded, just start adding it to that and just keep mixing it so it gets nice and flavored. Okay, once all your meat is there and is nice and covered with the onion and pepper mixture, you're gonna go ahead and add some of that broth you saved, uh, probably like a quarter cup. You're not gonna put the whole cup. And then you're just gonna add some salt to these eggs and beat them and then add them to your meat. And I know this is super weird, but this is one of the reasons why I wanted to share this dish with you is because I know it's a little weird, but it's so, so good. I'm telling you, you guys will love it. So that's about it, you're all done. The meat is done, the rice and the little noodles is done, and then the potatoes are done. So you're ready to eat. I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you try it out. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. This is what it ended up looking like. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I eat so much. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time, bye.